How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Can you believe it? It's already December. That means you're about to watch the scariest and freakiest videos of 2023. Just a quick note, this is part one. Part two will be dropping soon, so keep an eye out for that one. But in the meantime, sit back, relax and enjoy the freakiest of 2023. This first eerie photo on our list was submitted to our Facebook community page by Hernandez Jessica. These two men were enjoying a night out when they decided to take a snap to remember the evening by. At first, they thought nothing of it, but when they reviewed the photo the next day, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Behind them, you can make out what looks like the transparent face of a woman. No one else was in the street when this pic was taken. So could this really be a ghost or just a bit of clever Photoshop manipulation? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. The digital realms of TikTok aren't just for dance routines and viral challenges. Every so often a video, or in this case two, surfaces that sends the platform's users into a frenzy of fear and speculation. The latest unsettling trend sweeping the app is being dubbed as the birthday curse, and it's left viewers wondering if a seemingly innocent birthday celebration can turn into a sinister omen. Take a look at the first video uploaded by user Mama Tech. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Out of nowhere, the candles blow out, seemingly all on their own. Happy birthday. Now watch the second video uploaded by Renee. I am <laughs> The same thing happens. TikTok, known for amplifying content to staggering levels of virality, didn't disappoint with these clips. They've amassed considerable attention with users sharing and commenting in droves. The predominant theory? A ghostly presence, perhaps a loved one, was behind the mysterious candle snuffing. However, a more sinister interpretation emerged, pushing the boundaries of eeriness, the birthday curse. This freshly minted urban legend suggests that self-extinguishing birthday candles aren't just a spooky party trick, but an ominous sign of a curse or impending doom. Fueling the fire of this unsettling theory, a commenter claimed that someone they knew faced a tragic fate after their birthday candles blew out in a similar manner. But is there any veracity to this so-called curse, or is it merely the product of TikTok's flair for the dramatic? While the idea is intriguing, it's essential to approach such tales with a dose of skepticism. Many factors could explain the candle's behaviour, from drafts to the type of candles used. Yet the allure of the mysterious and the unknown is hard to resist, especially in the echo chambers of social media. Whether you believe in the birthday curse or not, it's undeniable that these videos have added an extra layer of intrigue to the age-old ritual of blowing out birthday candles. So what's your take on this new urban legend? Do you think it's just a gust of wind or something far more mysterious? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Several months ago, we reported on a household that had transformed from an ordinary residence into the stage for a series of eerie happenings. As shared by the homeowners on their TikTok account, Magical Poltergeist, the occurrences were not only shattering their tranquility, but also posing the harrowing question, is there a sinister entity lurking in their home? Initially, the signs were subtle, changes to the couple's mood, their behaviour would inexplicably shift, leading to abrupt and unwarranted disagreements, sparking questions about unseen external influences. Today, new alarming footage from within the home brings more weight to the haunting hypothesis. Their wise home security camera has recorded some truly chilling scenes. While the homeowners lay asleep, unaware of the night's events, their rocking chair is captured swaying back and forth. 
More alarmingly, a planchette is seen shifting over a Ouija board. But it doesn't stop there. In a subsequent video, the atmosphere takes a darker turn. The wife, visibly distressed, calls her husband over the phone, recounting a foul smell permeating throughout their home. Dude, the house smells like literally like rotten egg. Like, it literally smells like you forgot to take the trash out or something. Like, I don't know what the f is going on with this shit. The house smells disgusting. Before he can offer any form of solace, this happens. Did you take the trash out? What the f***, baby? The lights are f***ing flickering now, dude. Watching that again, the lights in their house start to flicker erratically. Then a crucifix mounted on the wall slowly rotates, positioning itself upside down. What the f***, baby? The lights are f***ing flickering now, dude. This sequence of macabre events lends more credence to the notion that the family's home might be under the influence of a malevolent presence. Whether this is a cunning hoax or a genuine haunting remains uncertain, but the undeniable truth is the content on Magical Poltergeist's account has left many viewers restless. For now, we wait for further updates, hoping for clarity or perhaps even a resolution for the distressed family. Passengers aboard the narrow gorge train travelling from Durango to Silverton in Colorado experienced an unexpected thrill when they believed they caught a glimpse of the legendary creature known as Bigfoot. Shannon Parker from Cheyenne, Wyoming was aboard the train with her husband Stetson Tyler, scanning the landscape for elk when the surprise sighting occurred. The unusual sighting was captured by another passenger named Brandon, who, upon noticing the couple's reaction, decided to film the mysterious creature with his phone. Yeah, let me see your camera, I'll do it. The footage displays what appears to be a large, hairy figure moving through the shrubs. At one point, it squats down and blends into the surrounding foliage. I just squatted down. Throughout the video, you can hear various passengers discussing the creature, wondering about its movements and speculating on its identity. It's an elusive creature. The creature eventually disappears from view as the train continues on its journey. Shannon shared with Newsweek that the experience was like no other, emphasising the uniqueness of the sighting. Even the train's conductor, who was familiar with the mountainous area, confessed he had never witnessed anything quite like it. Since being shared online, the video has generated significant buzz, leading to a wide range of reactions. While some firmly believe in the authenticity of the sighting, others remain sceptical, suggesting potential explanations ranging from military camouflage to a well-orchestrated hoax. The footage shared by Out There Colorado on their platform quickly gained traction, receiving thousands of likes and reposts, with users hotly debating the mysterious figure's true nature. It's an elusive creature. I right, just squatted down. Mexico, known for its rich history and vibrant culture, also houses deep-rooted mysteries that have both captivated and puzzled many. A recent revelation by the popular podcast Paranormal Podcast only adds more intrigue to the nation's collection of unexplained events. The podcast delves into a peculiar incident captured on surveillance cameras the evidence of which has caused a stir in both the paranormal and law enforcement communities. For the brave officers who recorded the incident, the footage is more than just unusual. It's deeply unsettling, so much so they've asked to remain anonymous. The eerie occurrence doesn't just happen once. It's an event that mystifyingly appears to repeat every decade. 
This cyclical appearance led the Paranormal Podcast team on an exhaustive search across Mexico, culminating in the discovery of a particular house. Interviews with security personnel, some of whom have worked in the vicinity for over a decade, corroborated the recurring nature of this strange event. While the house has reportedly never had children living in it, an unsettling account from a resident paints a different picture. She recounts hearing noises from the upper floor, eerily mirroring a report made by her late husband just 10 years prior. The homeowner called the police fearing intruders may have snuck into the house. The police arrived, took a look around the house, but found nothing, no sign of anyone. Although the immediate police investigation turned up empty, it's the surveillance footage that sends shivers down one's spine. A CCTV camera positioned across the street has a clear view of the lady's house. Here you can see the police officers leaving the home after the investigation. Moments later, the camera catches something moving in the upper floor window of the home. clearly shows what looks like three children, with one clutching a doll or even a baby. Bafflingly, their attire isn't contemporary, it's reminiscent of English children from the 1900s. Here it is slowed down. One of the children seems to twirl into view, while another slowly dissipates. Positioned adjacent to a school, one might be quick to draw links between the apparitions and the establishment. However, records reveal no related tragedies or significant events that might have contributed to such a haunting. So what could this be? Given the police testimony, the CCTV footage and the homeowner's account of strange noises, one has to wonder what's really been caught on camera here. In a video that's causing shivers across the TikTok community, user Scariest8666 uploaded footage from an unidentified source, showing a homeowner delving into an unexplained noise within his residence. Watch what's been caught on camera. Watching that again, a person wearing a hat appears to be standing in the room. But when he takes a second look, there's no one there. This mysterious figure closely resembles the law surrounding the hat man. The Hat Man is an eerie entity often described as a shadowy figure sporting a wide-brimmed hat. For decades, people from diverse backgrounds and various parts of the world have reported eerily similar encounters with this ominous apparition. While descriptions can vary slightly, the consistent factors are the imposing figure, an undeniable sense of malevolence, and of course the hat. Stories of the Hat Man often suggest he appears in times of emotional distress or when individuals dabble in the occult. Yet his intentions and origins remain a topic of debate, with theories ranging from interdimensional travel to manifestations of collective unconscious fears. Considering the vast number of Hat Man encounters across the globe, this footage raises an intriguing question. Could this TikTok video be genuine evidence of the notorious Hat Man's presence? I brought the eight-person tent, or the six-person tent. 
chilling video recently uploaded to the Instagram account Lifting the Veil Times 2 has left viewers in a state of shock and suspense. The footage is believed to be the last known record of a hiker who went missing in the dense forests of Oregon. The video was discovered on a camera reportedly found near a tree in the remote wilderness of Deschutes, roughly 10 miles north of Bend, Oregon. The camera's owner, the missing hiker, can be seen setting up camp in the early parts of the video. I brought the eight-person tent, or the six-person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I thought first of the season I should pull that out, give it a, give it a go. But as night falls, the footage takes a sinister turn. Yeah, you can hear it itself from that side. It sounds right outside the tent. The sounds of movement and rustling can be heard, suggesting the presence of someone or something close by. That, that, that can't be. That, that gets us that, that, Someone's messing around with the, the rocks out there. Jesus Christ. Leave me alone! A sudden thud against the tent is audible, prompting the camper to make a desperate run into the surrounding darkness. The camera's view is thrown into chaos, capturing fleeting glimpses of trees and shadows as the man rushes through the night. But before the video abruptly cuts off, something unsettling is caught on camera. Watch. The ominous silhouette of a figure can be seen. These are the last known moments of the missing hiker. According to reports, despite intensive search and rescue efforts, there remains no trace of him. The video has ignited a flurry of theories and speculations among internet users. Some point to wildlife encounters, while others hint at a darker, more sinister explanation. The proximity of the location of Bend, Oregon, a town rich in folklore and tales of mysterious disappearances, only adds to the speculation. For now, the true nature of the events that night remains elusive, leaving the online community anxiously awaiting updates on this puzzling and haunting case. This next video is an excerpt taken from a NASA broadcast on the 20th of April 2016. At first, all seems relatively normal. We see the natural curvature of the Earth highlighted by the light of the Sun against the backdrop of space. However, if you watch closely, you can see a small object appear from the right side of the screen. It continues its steady movement before coming to a gradual halt. It then remains stationary for around 35 seconds before beginning to ascend in a zigzag pattern. Suddenly it moves to the left at tremendous speed, soon disappearing from view. In recent years, the US government has shown increased interest in Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs, more commonly known as UFOs. This heightened attention was largely spurred by a series of unexplained encounters reported by Navy pilots and other military personnel. In response to growing concerns and curiosities, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, in collaboration with the US Department of Defense's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, released a preliminary report in June of 2021. This report detailed the government's analysis of 144 UAP encounters that occurred between 2004 and 2021. 
While the report didn't confirm any extraterrestrial explanations, it acknowledged that most of the UAPs remain unexplained and that further analysis is required. The recent discussions around UAPs in Congress reflect a shift from the historical stigma associated with UFOs, moving towards a more open and serious inquiry into these phenomena and their potential implications for national security. So, by definition, it seems this NASA footage shows a UAP in action. Could it be something that has extraterrestrial origins? Or is there another way to explain the object's bizarre movements? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. A recent video uploaded to TikTok by user Frank VM Ditchwa 2022 has been making waves across the internet this past week. The clip appears to show an enormous dust devil or tornado. However, what's caused the video to go viral is the presence of a dark shape rising up in the middle of the tornado, which bizarrely also seems to be getting sucked up into the sun. <laughs> this curious sighting has sparked cries of witchcraft from the online community, with many asserting that this phenomenon seems to be much more than a simple dust devil. Speculations are rampant, but so far no one's been able to conclusively identify the dark shape rising up through the tornado. As of now, the clip remains a complete mystery. Theories abound, ranging from the scientifically plausible to the outright fantastical. Some suggest that the dark shape could be debris or a group of birds caught in the wind. Others, however, are inclined to believe in a more supernatural explanation, pointing to local folklore and legends associated with witchcraft and otherworldly forces. While experts are yet to weigh in on this phenomenon, the video continues to captivate viewers worldwide. <laughs> This next footage, posted to TikTok by user alkakui.tv, has left viewers spooked. A homeowner was home alone late one night when they heard what sounded like an intruder in their house. Unnerved, they began filming on their phone as they went to investigate. This is what they caught. The homeowner discovers a man screaming. <laughs> However, when he takes a second look, the man has vanished. <laughs> With no signs of entry or exit, the startlingly rapid disappearance of the figure has left many wondering if this could be more than a mere intruder. Speculation has been rife, with numerous viewers questioning if the video represents authentic evidence of a supernatural occurrence. Could this be a ghostly apparition captured in the fleeting moments of a TikTok video? I'll leave that up to you to decide. <laughs> A jaw-dropping video that took the internet by storm earlier this year continues to raise questions among viewers. The original source of the footage remains a mystery, but a version shared by TikTok user xprof.houndsx has garnered significant attention. The video, captured by a CCTV camera in a back alley, depicts a heart-stopping scenario. A young girl walking alone, her day disrupted by a fast-approaching car. As the vehicle comes to a swift halt and its doors swing open, the girl's visible alarm suggests a sinister intent. 
but what happens next has left viewers in awe. Watch. A dog darts into the frame, barking fiercely at the car's occupant. This unexpected intervention seems to be enough to deter the potential assailant who promptly drives away. The footage leaves viewers with more questions than answers. From where did this protective canine emerge and how did it sense the impending danger? While these questions remain unanswered, one thing's clear. Sometimes our four-legged friends demonstrate bravery and loyalty in ways that remind us of the extraordinary bond between humans and dogs. An Indian family residing in the UAE recently captured widespread attention after sharing a series of unsettling events they experienced in their home. Believing their house to be haunted by an unknown entity, the family has taken to documenting these occurrences. Their upload videos on their YouTube channel Zark Scary Haunting provide an eerie insight into the unusual disturbances they claim to have witnessed. In one video, the homeowner's young son appears startled, insisting that he spotted something moving inside of the house. The boy's claims take an even more chilling turn in a subsequent upload. Here, the father displays a drawing sketched by his son. He drew this again. And here you can see it's a family of Peppa Pig. While the primary subject of the artwork is the cheerful Peppa Pig family, a mysterious figure looms in the background of a house window. And this is the house. And if you see, my son was like trying to show on the window. And this is what he was trying to point out. The father believes this could be his son's interpretation of the unknown presence he feels in their home. To make us understand what he was trying to say. In yet another video, the same child, usually calm and courteous, becomes visibly agitated and angry. Mommy, no! adamant about observing something his mother evidently can't see. Yeah, I saw but I was watching but what, 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 what did you see? Hello? What did you see? I saw something! Ah! You saw something? Yeah! The family's CCTV footage further intensifies the unsettling narrative. One clip shot during the night shows the father exploring the source of an unexplained banging sound. However, viewers have noticed something even more disconcerting. Watch. The shadow of the father seems to move independently. The mystifying events don't end there either. In another video, the young child is drawing in a colouring book when the home security camera in the living room catches something truly unnerving. Further adding to the family's distress, another piece of midnight footage shows a bicycle in their living room toppling over unassisted. As the father gets up to examine the situation, mysterious noises can be heard. Take a look at what happens. Two separate cameras catch the eerie event, the father's phone and the home security system. Both show a child's chair sliding across the floor. The 
these spine-chilling events are just a few of the many shared by the family. With the intensity and frequency of the disturbances escalating, the family decided to move house in an effort to get away from the inexplicable hauntings. Those curious to delve deeper into the family's paranormal experiences can find a plethora of videos over on their YouTube channel. The eerie footage undoubtedly makes for a compelling, albeit unsettling, watch. As always, there's links in the description box down below. The ever-vibrant community over on Reddit is no stranger to mysterious posts that divide users between skeptics and believers. However, a recent submission by user OpeningBird9599 has caused quite a stir, particularly among those interested in the paranormal. During Christmas 2021, the OP attended a festive party with friends and captured a moment on a Polaroid camera. The photograph shows four friends all smile seemingly caught in a joyful, unscripted moment. Yet it's the background of the picture that's truly unnerving. Eerily manifesting through a closed door behind the group are what appear to be a set of disembodied hands. The uploader says they didn't notice anything unusual at the time, certainly not a pair of ghostly hands merging through a door. At first glance, many might jump to the conclusion that such an oddity is the result of digital trickery. However, the very nature of the Polaroid photograph challenges that notion. Given that it's virtually impossible to digitally manipulate a Polaroid directly, this seems to reduce the likelihood of a hoax, at least in terms of post-production tampering. The post garnered significant attention with commenters diving deep into speculation. Many felt that this could be genuine evidence of a haunting perhaps tied to the tragic history of someone who once resided in that very apartment. Others sought more mundane explanations, suggesting tricks of light, shadows, or unnoticed items in the room that could have created the illusion of phantom hands. Regardless of one's belief, the photograph reignites a timeless debate. Can cameras truly capture the inexplicable, or are we merely witnessing optical illusions and tricks of the mind? Caracas, Venezuela witnessed an inexplicable event on the 6th of September 2023 as a storm blanketed the city. As torrential rains came pouring down, so did unidentified objects, leaving residents in a state of shock and wonder. Dennis Guzman was among the first to document this eerie occurrence. His footage shed on X captures what seems to be a dark object plummeting from the sky. It can be hard to see at first, but if you slow it down, you can see a dark object falling from the air. Initial reactions from viewers ranged from skepticism to curiosity. Some attributed the phenomenon to a mere water droplet sliding down a window pane. However, with a closer examination of the video, you can see the unidentified object falls behind a distant skyscraper. This subtle detail ignited a flurry of debate among netizens. Just as the online debate was heating up, a second piece of footage emerged from another part of Caracas. Jean Tarantino, unaware of Guzman's earlier post, recorded a strikingly similar incident. The mysterious object in his video, when slowed down, closely resembles the one captured by Guzman. Considerable number of residents fueled by popular culture and age-old tales proposed extraterrestrial explanations. Some thought it could be debris from an alien spacecraft or perhaps even probes sent by distant civilizations to study our planet. Others, however, thought atmospheric conditions caused satellites or space debris to re-enter Earth's atmosphere prematurely. With Caracas lying near the equator, where many satellites have their orbital paths, this theory seemed plausible to some. 
Despite the barrage of theories, however, no conclusive explanation has emerged as of yet. Authorities and meteorological experts in Venezuela are said to be analysing the events of that night. Until more information comes to light, the residents of Caracas are left with an enduring mystery. A woman from East Sussex, UK has experienced a series of mysterious and unfortunate events after purchasing a seemingly cursed painting from a charity shop. The painting, bought for £20 from the Hastings Advice Representation Centre in St Leonard's on Sea, depicted a young girl in a red dress and had been previously returned by another buyer who claimed it ruined her life. This prompted the charity shop manager to add a possibly cursed warning on the item. The woman, Zoe Elliott Brown, bought the portrait after her mother, Jane, became transfixed by it and urged her to make the purchase. After bringing the painting home, the family's dog immediately started growling and avoided the artwork. Shortly after, Jane began experiencing health issues such as hot flushes, shakiness and feeling extremely cold despite wearing four layers of clothing. She also became unusually protective of the painting, continuously staring at it and even polishing it when it didn't need cleaning. While Jane believed her illnesses were unrelated to the painting, Zoe was convinced that the portrait was the cause of her mother's declining health. Zoe eventually decided to keep the painting in a box filled with sage in an attempt to cleanse it of its negative energy. Things took a turn for the worse when Zoe and her partner Ben encountered a large black figure during a walk to watch a lightning storm. The couple fled in terror as the figure seemed to chase them. Although Zoe didn't initially connect the incident to the painting, she later suspected that it might be related. Determined to rid her family of the curse, Zoe returned the painting to the charity shop, only to discover a screw in her new car tyres upon arrival. Despite warning the shop manager to be cautious about selling the painting again, Zoe eventually felt compelled to take the artwork back to her home, fearing that someone else might mishandle it. Zoe now hopes to find someone knowledgeable about the supernatural who can properly deal with the painting and its potential curse. In the meantime, she sealed the painting up in a box with some sage, hoping it will cleanse the artwork and her mother's home of any negative energy. An unsettling trail cam image shared by Facebook user Bob Grandall has gone viral, sending shivers down the spines of thousands of social media users. The photo, which was taken on a game camera during a hunting trip, appears to show Grandall walking through the bush with his daughter Cheyenne. However, they appear to be accompanied by a mysterious and transparent third figure. In his post, Grandall expressed his bewilderment at the unknown individual. That's me in the front, then my daughter Cheyenne, and we don't know who the third is. Zooming in, you can't make out a face, and the body's transparent. We even compared it to another pic, and you can see the branch through him. The post continued, with Grandall jokingly suggesting they might need to call Ghostbusters, as the figure appeared to be wearing a transparent plaid coat. He also noted that the land had been in the same family for over a hundred years, and wondered if the unknown person might be recognisable to them. The strangest detail of all was that the mysterious figure seemed to be carrying a gun, as the photo was taken during muzzleloader season in December. Understandably, the eerie image has left Facebook users intrigued and unnerved. The post has garnered hundreds of comments and over 14,000 shares as people try to solve the mystery of who the third person might actually be. Theories abound, ranging from ghostly apparitions to glitches in the trail cam technology. As the image continues to circulate and generate discussion, the true identity of the mysterious figure remains unknown. In the meantime, the photo has captured the imagination of social media users, inspiring countless theories, debates, and perhaps a few sleepless nights. Noches, amigos. In the heart of Mexico, Luan, popularly known online as Joshua Lark, has been consistently sharing his family's unsettling experiences of what they believe to be paranormal occurrences in their home. Originally, Luan's channel was a space for jovial skits featuring his son Joshua. However, the tone quickly shifted when Joshua reported seeing an unaccounted for child in their store. 
The family's account of events began innocently enough with minor disturbances like unexplained noises. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? No inventes, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Se abrió. But as time passed, the intensity of the occurrences grew. Multiple members of Luan's family, including his wife and daughter, began seeing a perplexing figure of a woman within their residence. In search of answers, Luan turned to religious and spiritual experts, installing CCTV cameras in the process. Through a medium, it was suggested that two distinct spirits might be haunting the premises. To provide respite for his family, Luan decided on a temporary relocation. Yet, when they returned, they faced even more bizarre phenomena, such as their tap water inexplicably teeming with worms. A priest from Monterey posited a chilling theory, suggesting that Luan himself might be the focal point of the disturbances, haunted due to an ancient familial curse. As of now, the family's still in search of a solution to their spectral predicament. Recently, more spine-tingling footage has emerged from their home, further amplifying the mystery. In one video, Marsha, Luan's wife, can be seen tidying the living room. As the camera drifts across their space, an empty room is clearly visible. Yet within moments, as the camera swings back, a dark shadowy figure emerges from nowhere, only to vanish when the camera moves once again. In another video, Marsha's solo encounter is even more harrowing. Alone in the home, she hears the jingle of children's toys from a nearby room. Bracing herself, she begins filming, capturing on her phone an eerie shadow that makes a fleeting appearance in an adjoining space. The family's chilling tales continue to gain traction online, drawing both skeptics and believers in equal measure. For those intrigued by the paranormal, a deep dive into their videos comes highly recommended. Links to their distressing accounts can be found in the description box down below. In a follow-up to our August report, fresh details have emerged from the heart of the Amazon jungle, where Peruvian villagers from Alto Nanay, northeast of Lima, have been living in fear of alleged alien attacks. The indigenous Iquito community in Alto Nanay began reporting eerie nighttime assaults by mysterious entities on the 11th of July. These beings, as described by the locals, are reminiscent of fantastical characters from popular movies, evoking images of the Predator and Spider-Man's nemesis, the Green Goblin. Distinctive features include their towering seven-foot stature, protective armoured exterior, broad heads, and captivating yellow eyes. Recently, this unsettling narrative gained more traction when a photograph purportedly from the region surfaced. This striking image displays an unfamiliar glowing humanoid entity, seemingly emitting a golden luminescence as it ambles past a tree. Labelling these uninvited visitors as Los Paraqueras or the Face Peelers, community members have furnished a vivid description of these beings. From rounded shoes that allow them to levitate to elongated heads adorned with masks covering their yellow eyes, these creatures are unlike anything known to the residents. What's more, their seeming invulnerability is causing significant distress. Reports include tales of villagers attempting to defend themselves, shooting at these beings, only for the bullets to have no effect, allowing the creatures to vanish unhindered. As panic and concern continues to spread, the community leaders have reached out, pleading for assistance to combat this looming threat. 
The pervasive fear has disrupted the village's routines, with children too afraid to sleep and mothers keeping constant vigil through the night. Furthermore, the eerie accounts from Alto Nanai resonate with local folklore. Some villagers have drawn parallels between these alien entities and the legendary Palakiras, mythical creatures believed to prey on human faces, fat and vital organs. While local authorities have visited and surveyed the site, it remains unclear whether any conclusive evidence supporting the villagers' claims has been uncovered. For now, the mystery of the Amazon's face peelers remains unsolved, leaving a community in desperate search for answers and assistance. In an unexpected twist, a KFC outlet in Mexico has become the focal point of intense online speculation after a mystifying event was captured on its CCTV system. The footage, which has sent shivers down the spines of viewers worldwide, was brought to the limelight by TikTok user Alo Duscuro by Joan. The video begins ordinarily enough, featuring an employee cleaning the restaurant after hours. However, the scene swiftly takes a chilling turn. In the span of mere moments, the employee is abruptly yanked to the ground and then dragged across the floor, seemingly pulled by an invisible entity. But the eerie video isn't the sole source of the store's newfound notoriety. Both staff members and customers have divulged their own unsettling experiences at this particular KFC branch. Numerous accounts describe an unshakable feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Some have even reported an intangible touch, resembling a hand grazing their shoulders. Given the array of peculiar incidents and testimonies, the inevitable question looms, is this Mexican KFC outlet a hotspot for the supernatural? Or perhaps the Colonel is taking revenge for someone leaking his secret recipe for his 11 herbs and spices. Argentinian actress and singer Yamina Barone recently startled her Instagram followers by posting a snippet of her home security footage that appears to capture something rather eerie. In the video, Yamina is sitting at her table when suddenly something seems to frighten her. She explained that it felt like something touched her shoulder, prompting her to review her home security footage. What she found was terrifying. When the footage is slowed down, it appears to show a tiny hand reaching up and touching her on the shoulder. The clip quickly went viral with viewers speculating on the nature of the strange apparition. Many were baffled by the sudden appearance of the mysterious hand, and theories ranged from a trick of the light to genuine paranormal activity. The strange occurrence has left Yimina and her followers perplexed and unnerved. Whether or not this is definitive proof of the paranormal remains up for debate, but it certainly has piqued the curiosity and imagination of many. In recent years, trail cameras have grown in popularity among wildlife enthusiasts, hunters and researchers offering a glimpse into the secretive lives of animals and their natural habitats. These motion-activated cameras are designed to capture images and videos when they detect movement, often resulting in candid snapshots of wildlife behaviour. However, alongside the unexpected shots of local fauna, some trail cameras have captured images that are mysterious and sometimes downright creepy. From unexplained figures to strange light anomalies, these unexpected captures have sparked intrigue, debate and sometimes even concerns among those who view them. Whether they reveal the presence of elusive animals or hint at otherworldly phenomena, these unanticipated trail camera images remind us of the many mysteries that the natural world still holds. This next image is a great example of one of the strange things that a trail camera has captured. It was uploaded to Reddit by user Volbag with little information other than the scene was captured on a deer camera somewhere in Tennessee. 
The image, captured at 6.31pm, shows two figures making their way through the wilderness. The closest one to the large tree appears to be carrying a backpack. However, it's the other figure that stirred up debate in the comments section. It's been suggested that it resembles the spirit of a Native American, one who seems to be following the hiker. As with most photos of this nature, it's almost impossible to confirm who or what's been captured. It might simply show two hikers wandering the terrain, yet there remains an undeniable ghostly quality to the individual in the back. Unfortunately, it seems their true identity will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. In what was initially celebrated as a miraculous healing caught on camera, a new revelation has emerged that turned a seemingly divine intervention into a tale of manipulation and deceit. Social media platforms were abuzz with a video showing a woman in Africa whose severely disabled arm appeared to heal instantaneously during a religious ceremony led by a proclaimed holy man. The crowd's excitement is palpable as they witness what they believe to be a miracle. Over the course of the clip, the woman's severely disfigured arm appears to heal itself. Here's the clip sped up to show the arm changing in real time. The clip spread like wildfire with many hailing it as evidence of divine power in action. However, behind the scenes of this supposed wonder, a narrative of fraud was unfolding. A 44-year-old woman named Bose Olasakanmi was apprehended by the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team in Lagos after being implicated in a series of orchestrated miracles across various churches. The orchestration was a well-rehearsed act, a script executed with precision to dupe congregations into believing in the miraculous healing powers of certain pastors. Mrs. Olasakanmi was part of an intricate scam designed to prey on the faithful and exploit their religious convictions for monetary gain. She would perform this act of instantaneous healing, convincing the congregation of her recovery, thereby significantly boosting church attendance and consequently church revenue. These performances were meticulously planned and executed, ensuring that no one from Mrs. Olasakanmi's past would recognize her and possibly unveil the scam. The operation was lucrative, with the increase in churchgoers leading to larger collections during services and substantial seed offerings from those desperate for miracles themselves. Individuals blinded by hope and the desire for divine intervention would give away large sums of money and sometimes even their cars, not knowing they were victims of an elaborate hoax. The woman, hailing from Alicia, Osun State, had a story marked by personal tragedies, including the loss of her husband and children, which eventually led her into the arms of opportunistic scammers. She was groomed to play her part to perfection, seduced by the promise of financial relief from her hardship. Despite the attention and initial success, the law finally caught up with the scheme. Mrs. Olasakanmi's arrest pulled back the curtain, revealing the mechanics of the scam. She confessed to her involvement and pledged to assist the police in apprehending the pastors and other accomplices. This incident has cast a shadow over the authenticity of faith-based miracles and has left many to question the integrity of religious institutions. As for Mrs. Olasakanmi, she expressed her remorse over the deception and the damage it caused to the faithful, who had been misled by her actions. Her narrative also poses challenging questions about the intersections of faith, desperation and morality in the context of modern day religion. So, creature update. Casey Disturbed, a Michigan local known by the username Foul Mitten Outdoors on TikTok, has intrigued and spooked viewers with an unusual narrative. He believes he struck an amicable relationship with the elusive creature, Bigfoot. 
For over two years, Disturd has been sharing peculiar videos from his property located in the wooded Upper Peninsula area of Michigan, where he alleges he's exchanged gifts with the mysterious beast. For decades, tales of Bigfoot sightings have largely been restricted to the Pacific Northwest of the US. However, Disturd's narrative is distinct. He claims to regularly interact with the creature at a remote location he's fondly dubbed the Gifting Rock. Just about to the Gifting Rock. See if there's anything there. All right, well, that's interesting. At this particular spot, Disturt leaves offerings like bagels, only to find rustic handicrafts presumably left by Bigfoot as tokens of appreciation. Uh, looks like got a piece of wood, moss, something. Teeth. Some of Disturt's videos showcase what seem to be the glowing eyes of the alleged Sasquatch. It's staring at me. It followed me home from the gifting rock. It's about one o'clock in the morning right now. They silently watch him from a concealed position among the trees. But uh, they followed me home and it is absolutely staring at me right now. The mere sight of these luminous eyes has led to a surge in views on his TikTok, with some videos gathering millions of views. The term cryptid refers to animals or creatures whose existence has been proposed based on anecdotal evidence like Bigfoot, but haven't been scientifically proven. While some viewers theorise that Disturt might have stumbled upon an undiscovered cryptid, scepticism is rife. Critics have pointed out the lack of movement in the creature's eyes, leading some to speculate that Disturt might be using reflective stickers, or perhaps he's the victim of an elaborate prank by someone who is. However, the constant video updates from Disturt's property are evidence enough for his growing legion of followers. In this clip, we see something moving in the reversing camera of Disturt's truck. I will, we'll be all right. This is ridiculous. It's f***ing pitch black at night for sake. We'll be all right. We're not going to get stuck. Let's get the hell out of here. If you brighten it up and slow it down, you can see a large entity moving from left to right. Beyond the Bigfoot narrative, Disturt's account delves into other mysterious happenings. He frequents an eerie abandoned farm reputed to be a place where unsettling events occurred back in the 1970s. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. I'm telling you, some bad stuff happened back here. Viewers can see a tire swing subtly moving on its own just as they arrive. Okay, <laughs> Probably the wind. You just drive by it. I really don't want to. Things get even creepier when they look through the windows of the abandoned house. Go back. Huh. There was somebody standing in that window. Shut up. I seen something in the window, Casey. Did you catch it? As they pass by, a shadowy figure can be seen standing in the window. Yeah, hold on. Casey, go back. But when they take a second look, it's gone. There was somebody standing in that window. Shut up. I seen something in the window, Casey. Really? There was something. Give me that light. This sighting suggests that something more than just cryptids might be roaming these woods. In another clip, Disturt responds to a distressed call from a neighbour. The woman up the road calls Disturt concerned that her husband hasn't come home for dinner after working in his barn all day. The farmer's wife down the road called and said that he'd been working out in the barn today and hadn't showed back up for dinner. He enters the property looking for his neighbour. Jerry? Jerry. The building is powerless and near pitch black. He calls out, but receives no response. Jerry! You're messing around, I swear to God, Jerry. Then, towards the end of the investigation, something chilling happens. Watch. 
Jerry? I hear you back there, Jerry. Better say something, dude, or I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> This! Watching that again, you can make out the faint outline of a figure moving inside the dark room. Back there, Jerry. Better say something, dude, or I'm leaving. Dude, I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> It's clearly not his lost neighbour. So what is it? In a more recent update, Disturbed is awoken by a noise coming from his roof. Okay. Something appears to be up there. Oh, damn. Holy sh! All right. So, bitch is one on the other side of the house. He circles the house and spots what looks like animal bones up on the roof. Where'd it go? What is that? What the son of a... Although the majority of Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the US West Coast, a handful of claims come from the state of Michigan. Whether Disturt's interactions are genuine or a mere reflection of folklore, his videos undoubtedly stoke curiosity and debate among his massive TikTok audience. The question that remains is, could Casey Disturt truly be interacting with Bigfoot? Or is it just another tale in the long saga of cryptid lore? But uh, it followed me home and it is absolutely staring at me right now. Ugh. TikTok user Curious Alien 7 has recently shared a terrifying video of a paranormal investigator engaging with a Ouija board. The session starts off with the investigator asking if they're communicating with the devil, and the situation quickly deteriorates from there. Am I dealing or am I speaking with the devil right now through this Ouija board? <laughs> oh my god. There's actually young prints on the ceiling there coming through. Audible noises can be heard and the investigator claims to see handprints appearing on the room's ceiling. Oh my god. There's actually young prints on the ceiling there coming through. The investigator then becomes noticeably distressed and frightened. To add to the unsettling scene, her nose starts to bleed. Who is through? Who, who am I communicating? I'm losing my. Mind. Who am I communicating with through this board? My nose is bleeding right now. Oh my god! Then, towards the end of the video, this happens. I know I've got no tissue, but my nose is bleeding right now. The board is moving. Oh my god, right, that's it, I'm done, I'm off, I'm sorry guys. I'm the video has sparked a renewed interest in the history of the Ouija board and its sinister connotations. The Ouija board, also known as a spirit board or talking board, has its origins in the 19th century American spiritualism movement. While it was initially introduced as a parlour game, the Ouija board quickly gained a reputation for being a tool to communicate with the spirit world. Over the years, it's been surrounded by controversy and has been associated with numerous sinister events and supernatural phenomena. Many religious groups and paranormal investigators caution against using Ouija boards, warning that they may open a portal to malevolent entities and have harmful psychological effects. While skeptics may attribute the events captured in this video to natural phenomena or human manipulation, believers in the paranormal may see it as further evidence of the dangers associated with using Ouija boards. Whether viewed as a sinister tool or a harmless game, the Ouija board continues to captivate the imagination and spark debates on the nature of the supernatural world. I'm bleeding right now. Oh my god. A de demon it's trying to... I know I've got no tissue, but my nose is bleeding right now. <laughs> the board is moving. <laughs> oh my god, right, that's it, I'm done, I'm off, I'm sorry guys. 
Well, hey, well, that's the end of part one of the scariest clips of 2023. Remember to keep an eye out for part two. But in the meantime, watch more of our content right here. Now, remember to vote down below in the comments section. Let us know which you thought was the scariest video of the year. We'd love to hear what you think. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.